Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to discuss head porting. And we're going to use this head for example. There's nothing that's been done to it other than some light carbon removal. Valve springs are removed. Valves are removed for obvious reasons. You are not going to port a head properly if they're still installed. So they're out of the way and we can see where we're going to start. In this case, we're going to start by opening up the exhaust side, cleaning up the factory castings, and as well the intake side. Some common areas you'll want to focus on here is whenever they cast them, there'll be a, kind of like a lip, you know, additional material that doesn't need to be present on both the intake and exhaust side. Those are immediate concerns. You know, once you get familiar with head porting, you can figure out how large you want to open any particular side up or, you know, what work that you want to do, depending on how comfortable you are with head porting. You know, you can see a lot of performance gains from this, you know, throttle response. You know, this helps a lot. So I wanted to start with the head in completely stock form and then work my way up here as I progress with this particular head. Some things you'll need, obviously, is an overhead valve spring removal tool. This is the one I use in particular. There's a couple different styles, whichever one you choose. I guess there's no wrong answer. It's all about your preference. And you are going to need something to remove the material with. You know, you could pick a small Dremel. You could pick a large rotary tool. I like to have a couple different ones here, depending on exactly what area of the head I'm addressing. Or, in particular, what head it is. Whether it's an automotive head or, you know, in this case, a uh, motorcycle saddle head. They're a little smaller. Some of the areas are harder to get to with a larger bit. Um, there's also a couple different styles, a couple different shapes. Um, you know, once you get into it, you'll figure out which ones you want to use, whether you want to use a single cut or a double cut. You want to use a long stem. You want to use a short shaft one. They're all applicable. It just depends on where exactly in the head you're porting. Uh, again, there's no wrong answer really. Just about which one you have, which ones you buy. Personally, I would recommend buying a set of single and a set of double if you're not sure which ones you're gonna like. And a little bit of candle wax goes a long way. Put some candle wax on the actual cutter just keeps the bit from clogging up makes things a little bit easier so on this one in particular we're going to start by opening up the exhaust side so next time you see this head we'll have the exhaust side ported and give you an idea of you know how much material we're going to remove and um Hopefully this helps you decide whether you want to port your own head or whether you want to have somebody like myself who does head porting do the work for you. Uh, if you do want to learn how to port a head, I highly recommend that you pick up a head from a junkyard, you know, uh, take one off of an engine that's not going to be used, that's otherwise junk. That way, if you do take too much material or if you damage the head during the porting process, it's not a major blow to the bike or the vehicle that you are doing the work for. Uh, these things can be expensive and you really just don't want to throw away money by trying to learn how to port a head and finding out that you messed yours up. So that's my recommendation. Choose whichever path you feel is the best path to take, and I'll be back with you here with an update.